And Dwight, the Olympics, of course, continue on Lillehammer with a South Florida connection. Yeah, it's speed skating, but every athlete on ice turns to South Florida for their news. Details next in sports. Short track speed skating began today. U.S. women took the bronze in the 3,000 meters. Speaking of speed skating, we pay attention to speed skating about what? Once every four years? But after the games, when the media goes away, how do the skaters keep up with their sport? Well, they turn to South Florida and one of our own for their news. Channel 10 News photographer Harold Davis spreads the word about the sport. Here she comes. Now she's got to sit back and not scratch. You get two there was no speed skating newspapers. As a matter of fact, if you were a, a skater, it was more like a word of mouth. We decided to put a newspaper together so we could put the results, print results to all the skaters in the country. Yeah. And uh, we started out in, in ice speed skating as well as inline because we figured inline skating was, was going to become a big sport. So four years ago, Harold Davis created Speed Skating Times, a wow, subscription okay, paper whose circulation has grown to 25,000. Published right here in South Florida, printed in Pompano, circulated nationwide. A tropical home for a winter sport publication. The idea born when Davis, a speed skater from New York, moved to Miami. And when I came down here, uh, I continued to skate. Uh, but uh, because of lack of information, uh, I felt sort of left out. That's when we decided to put this paper together. The paper not only features the sport's best, they also read it. Bonnie Valera and Dan Jansen uh, are very supportive of us. I mean, they go out of their way to make sure that, you know, that uh, uh, we're mentioned in some way or another that, uh, that Speed Skating Times is helping them. Now, do they, think it's, do they think it's weird that Speed Skating Times is published in South Florida? Uh, yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people think it's kind of weird that uh, we have a newspaper in South Florida, but uh, that's not. Uh, uh, but you know, if you if you think about it, you know, what the what the technology there is today, uh, uh, you can post a newspaper anywhere. You know, with, with the computers and and with telecommunications. Uh, you know, you can get race results from all over the world, and that's exactly what we do, and that's how we get our race results. So Davis, a former Masters national champion, covers his favorite cold-weather sport from the warmth of South Florida. And the heated competition in Norway has made speed skating times a hot commodity. And when Harold gets done skating, unlike the other speed skaters, he can go to the beach. And? <laughs>